A high school job in a hospital led a local man to a career in medicine and dedication to saving people's limbs. Yeah, in this week's STEAM series, we are putting our best foot forward. Pat Harvey introduces you to a newly minted Boyle Heights podiatrist who has come home to help his community. STEAM series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. There were many moments where I felt like, man, I'm not smart enough, I'm not good enough. Dr. Miguel Ruiz of Boyle Heights reflecting on the obstacles he faced on the long, hard road that led him to the career he has today. There's pain there. Yeah. I want to make sure you come in with your toes, you leave with your toes. Miguel is a newly minted podiatrist at Adventist White Memorial in Boyle Heights. A podiatrist is a foot doctor. I'm going to push up and you push down. Good. Miguel got his start in medicine in high school, volunteering at the hospital. From there... I was offered a job in the operating room as a patient transporter. Besides transporting patients, I would also transport specimens. It could be tumors, it could have been tissue that go to the lab. It was a specimen transport call that changed Miguel's career trajectory. This specimen was in a big red bag, hazard signs all over, and so I grabbed the bag, and I'm walking away to pathology, but I'm starting to feel the back, and I realized it was toes. I can feel the foot, the ankle. I felt the leg bones. Thinking, oh no, this was a patient that lost their leg. The next day I go back to the OR, and again, it's the same red bag with the hazard signs, and it's another leg. I take it to the pathology. The same scene kept repeating. Miguel wanted to know, what is going on here? Why are patients losing their legs? What they all had in common? Uncontrolled diabetes. The sugar was so high, they had developed some numbness and tingling in their foot where they didn't have any sensation. No pain meant cuts and injuries went unnoticed and untreated. I wanted to make a difference in my patients' lives, and I said, how can I do that? We're in a system where it's very rushed, and doctors are swamped with patients with charts, you know, and getting pulled in all different directions. So I am, you know, praying that I have one minute to spend with each patient and talk about education. Of all the STEAM disciplines, Miguel relies most on science and art. I really believe in medicine, you have to be human, and I think you have to use your heart. Miguel grew up in public housing and often struggled academically. But as Cesar Chavez once said, Si se puede, which means yes, I can. Graduating college, and wearing his white coat. I feel like I transformed. It's a humbling experience to serve the community where I grew up. His advice to young, aspiring doctors with the odds stacked against them? Just keep showing up. How do you become a doctor? You show up the next day. Keep showing up. Good advice <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, that's right. And for more on our STEAM careers, just go to cbsla.com slash STEAM.